I got a customer brought a 94 Cadillac Eldorado, I think. So <laughs> what happened is uh, when you uh, put the, uh, the radio to on position, to accessory, you turn it on, nothing, right? No sound. So what I told the customer is to just to buy an aftermarket one that way you have Bluetooth and everything else. So in order to do it with that, he just bought it. We don't know what's going on. We're going to walk to the back and see if it's got a built-in amp or not. And I already see it doesn't look like it's got a built-in amplifier. So it's this color right here and this color right there. That will 6x9 right there. That will run up here. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be start remove this first and see what's going on. And I looked at over here, it looked like somebody uh, installed this before because this this part right here, this is antenna. Because I think they run it to the factory amp over there. I'm not sure what's going on, so I'm not going to tell you anything yet. I'm going to start removing this out right here. I mean, all you do is just take a, a, a flat head and just pop it out. In order to get that out, I had to grab the seat right there and see what's going on out here I mean it's cut right there so there's a screw right there uh, let me turn my uh, A off so what you do in order to do this you want to move the seat back all the way back you want to use your knee push it forward and then lift it up now you'll be able to see this uh, Philip right there just remove that Philip I don't know what happened. I don't know why the wire is cut right there. I'm just going to search this and see where, what I'm doing. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, it should be a, a bypass go all the way to the back right there. Here, I'll show you. On the right side, right hand side, there's the, uh, yep. This is what happened right here. This is for the antenna. So what happened is somebody either got mad and uh, cut everything. Uh, cut that wire from from the uh, over there to here. So this is where the amp is at right here This is where the speakers and everything. I'm gonna show you how to I'm gonna remove that real quick You can see right here and you can see this uh, light blue yellow black uh, Yellow brown and blue right there. That's for the back right there. And then you got tan and gray and light green and dark green right there. That's for the front. So you will need the nine wire conductor or the, the whole kit. Because uh, somebody cut that wire out. I'm going in, to, in, instead of doing all that, I'm going to just uh, uh, run the, I'm going to be running the, uh, Basically, I'm going to extend this wire right there because uh, someone cut the whole wire right there. They got power and everything already. That harness, you can buy it separately. And it's, uh, I think it's like $89, $69. I'll share you a link. But what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to attach this wire over there because I got 9 wire conductor and I also will add. So they do they do need antenna adapter. Uh, I'm gonna call the customer see if he still need the uh, antenna. If not, I mean most most people use Bluetooth anyway, so they don't care. So I'm gonna run a nine wire conductor with the remote wire. I'm not gonna use a remote wire because oh, antenna might need to work. But uh, it's got power and ground, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need yeah, I'm gonna do three extra wire also with it. And uh, now I'm gonna go to the radio. I'm gonna remove the radio. I'm going to show you how to remove the uh, radio. So in order to remove that radio, you want to pull this out. This, uh, uh, it's called Yuri ring. Some people call be bezel. Bezel. I cannot even say bezel. Be bezel. Uh, now you want to start removing this. Take a flat hat. Pry it out. And then you want to put the key in ignition. Turn to the on position and push, well you know how to drive this car, push this thing back and then kind of work with it and lift it to the back and pull it back. Right there. I can't pull it by one hand but maybe. 
push this thing to the back right here and then kind of move it right there like that then you're gonna see a 10 millimeter I mean I've done many of these back in the day but I haven't done it for a while so you gotta take this 10 millimeter oh actually somebody took it out already so the customer or somebody took well yeah of course I forgot they installed the radio before they just sell the car and took the radio and everything so you you got 10 millimeter right here and 10 millimeter right there take that out and then pull it out straight out and your best bet is to step on the uh, parking emergency brake right here so it don't come back or move and then wow they cut everything look at that so they wow they cut the antenna they cut everything why would somebody do stuff like that why would you cut it like that unless so now i'm gonna move this out right here i'm gonna connect it to my harness right here i think i have enough room for that because the harness about the wire is about this long so yeah i'm gonna just connect the wire i'll do that i mean if you have another wire i'll show you the wire real quick well, since I didn't do the wire, the wire kind of short right here, I'm not going to hook up the uh, power wire, which is a yellow wire right here. I'm not going to do a constant wire because I know that this uh, orange wire right there, that's a constant wire right there. Now, for the uh, accessory, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is, I don't think it's a dimmer light. This is an uh, accessory where you turn the key on, it, it uh, the light come on, meaning it's got, it's got a 12 volt see how that is so that i'm gonna use as an accessory i'm not 100 percent sure that but uh uh i'll try it because i i did turn on the light okay i just turned on the light let me see if it dim or anything it does anything funny no so i think this is accessory i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure but if you're not 100 percent sure what you can do you can run this to the uh this wire right here you can run it to the back for the red wire right there but uh, other than that i'm not going to use black actually you know to make to make it easy for myself i'm going to use the um, uh, actually antenna he's not listening to uh, a radio anyway so i'm going to bypass that now if you're using a radio you need the blue wire to hook up to the blue on the remote so the re, uh so the uh so the antenna will go up and down so I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna use this as as a uh, accessory and black I already have black wire already so I'm not gonna do anything with that I'm gonna just wire the color the green the white the purple and the gray together to the aftermarket radio wire which is uh, this wire I'm gonna just match it all up and if you don't have the match up one if you don't want to buy the nine wire conductor or if you buy the, uh, I will link below this this wire. I don't have it in the stock. I thought I did, but I guess I did the last one a long while ago. So I'm not gonna touch that. I'm just gonna wire color to color, you know. If not, you're gonna have to figure out which one. Uh, uh, I, 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 I think the best way to do it is, uh, if you don't have this, this wire right here, just run eight wire to the back, you know, like one channel is two two you know that you got a positive and a negative so you need to run the wire the eight wire to the back and do that but uh, i in my case i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna wire this up to the same color and then i already run everything already so what i did right here i did not want to use this uh, orange and black this orange and black it will come on when you turn the key i don't want to try it so i'm gonna do my the regular way so I got the yellow to the orange right here from this plug right there. And then I also got the black wire, which is ground to right next to it. This is the black right here. And also I got the red wire. I'm gonna hook up to the blue, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this blue as red. So this red one is accessory. And then I, I ran all the speaker wire, you know, the, the one with the stripe is negative. Just match the color and let's go to the back. So I did not really show you everything. Uh, basically, I popped the seat right there. Under the seat, I uh, run it, that blue wire right there, all the way over here. What I did right there, I'm gonna go from the front left, left front. Left front, I got the uh, positive. Usually all the front color on the Chevy, uh, light color is positive. So I got white to the tan, and then white black 
to the uh, gray. So the right uh, right front, I will got, remember the light is positive. So I got the gray to the light green and then the gray black to the dark green. And then for the back, the darker color is positive. So I got the, uh, the left rear, I got it uh, brown is positive, which is the green to the brown and then the green black to the yellow. And then for the right rear, I got the, uh, remember this is the dark color is positive. So the purple hook it up to the black, uh, blue and then the purple black hook it up to the uh, light blue. So just not, uh, tuck it back in, taped it. And I didn't want to cut the wire and crimp it. Now, uh, another thing that you want to do, I forgot to mention, uh, if you want to run the, uh, as you can see right there, this blue right there, I mean this green right there, this is for the uh, power antenna. So if you uh, run the power antenna, you want to hook up to the blue, the blue right there. But if you want to get the right harness, I will link it below and you can uh, check check it out. And uh, so you don't have to do what I was just doing right there. So this is just do a cheaper way, cheaper way to do it instead of spending another hundred dollar for that harness. So. And that's uh, how you hook it up. And uh, for the mounting kit, I'll use the 99 2002 right there. At the back to the 99 2002, it will come like this. All this screw right there, everything right there. What you want to do? You want to hook it up. You want to start in the back. Sometimes you want to do it. Some some people don't want to do it. It's fine. So hook it like that. See. And then screw, use the screw that they come with right there and screw that in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in like this. Uh, actually put it in like this. You go, you're going to have to use two hands right there to push it. I, I got one hand holding the camera so I can't do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run. Since I got it in like so already, I'm going to put it in like that. Snuck it in one side and then this side. And then the, the hole is going to match that right there on the bottom. You can see. And then you put that screw, the 10 millimeter nuts. Uh, nuts and bolt. Which one's nuts? Which one's bolt? Uh, yeah, nuts and bolt. So <laughs> one of them. <laughs> I think it's a bolt. Uh, just get it in like that. I hook. I got this wrong earlier. This part be on the top like that. So just send you tighten with your hand a little bit, and use a ten millimeter socket. You don't have to put it too tight, just where it won't come out. Yep, that's it. Stick the uh, I haven't done this for a while, stuff like this. Almost forgot how to everything call. I think call a radio bracket. Yeah, what you do, you want to where it won't move. Oh, put the wrong side. What you want to do, you take a flat hat and twist it all around so it won't be moving right here. And then now, make sure the wire is. I'm gonna fix the wire a little bit. I'm gonna use the uh, tape and tape it up a little bit, and then put the radio in. Then once the radio in, I'm going to stick this uh, beauty ring in a bezel.